Hey guys, Sid here. Okay, I know y'all looking at me like, what in the world is wrong with this girl? She got her hair all up like a three-year-old. She looked like something off Star Wars. Don't even try me, okay? It's all with a purpose. It's all for a purpose, okay? But this is my disclaimer that I am in no way, shape, or form a A, hairstylist, B, a makeup artist. I am not my look. Listen, let me break it down. My booking info is not in my bio. I am not a self taught MUA. I'm not charging. I don't know how to do eyebrows for nobody else. I don't know how to put on foundation on nobody else. Listen, I am not a makeup artist, okay? <laughs> so, what I am about to do, I saw on the cover of um, Elle, Rihanna's new Fenty Beauty, of course, because that's like what I'm into right now. And I'm like a Rihanna stalker right now. I basically want to be Rihanna right now. <laughs> so I saw her do the um, the purple heart on her face on the Fenty cover of, I'm sorry, on the Elle cover uh, for her Fenty Beauty using her unicorn matchstick. So I'm about to do that. This is my Fenty Beauty L cover hair. I have my Fenty Beauty L cover earrings that I got from the Beauty Splash store. They look like this. It came in a pack like this. Uh, so yeah, like I said, this is a disclaimer. So don't be laughing at me. Don't try to clown me. Oh, girl, you look terrible. Ah, ha, ha, ha. It's all for fun and games. I thought it was super cute uh, because, you know, we all love us and Rihanna. I love Rihanna. I love purple. I love hearts. I just like trying new fun things. So, like I said, I am in no way, shape, or form a makeup, a makeup artist at all. Like I said, my, my booking info is not in my bio, right? So, don't get on here trying to clown me, y'all. <laughs> it's all fun and games, okay? So, to achieve my hair like this, um, all I did was just kind of just use the bobby pin. Oop, see? Just kind of rolled it up. Again. Also, this is not a tutorial. I'm not walking y'all through it, showing you how. I'm just showing you how I did it. I don't have a mirror. I'm not sure how this looks. But yeah, like I said, this is not a um, a tutorial on how to do it because your girl really knows how to do it. I just like to have fun. I laugh at my dang own self. I laughed while I was doing this. And I think it came out pretty cool. Rihanna got some conversation from your girl. I say so myself <laughs> so you guys ready to jump into this video let me know let me know how many y'all ready I need I need like five people to say yeah like I said don't get on here trying to clown me y'all so um so yeah that was my disclaimer like I said I think it's gonna be fun let me know how you guys like it let me know if you guys have tried this look or if you have the unicorn match stick because I'm curious to see how it looks on other com other complexion hey guys so I am going to recreate Rihanna's look on the L cover when she had the purple heart on her face so I went out to my local beauty supply store and I bought earrings that look similar I only wanted to use this pair, but of course, it only came in this whole little section, you know, this whole little entourage of things that I'm not going to ever wear, but this is the shape that is closest to the shape that she had on in the cover. I will post the still photo so you guys can see the look that I'm talking about. So I have my earrings. So out of the entire pack, I'm gonna use these because they, you know, closely resemble the earrings that Rihanna had on for her new Fenty Beauty line. So when I started this, I just took my unicorn stick and I could have made an outline, but I kind of just went with the shape of my face to make a heart. So like I said, I am not a makeup artist, so y'all better not be over there clowning me. I just wanted to try something new, different, and I got a little inspiration from our girl, Ri. That's it. Of course, next time, if there ever is a next time, I probably more than likely will put a white base because, I mean, I'm sure white is what brings out this purple color more than me just applying it to my skin. But this was a trial run, and I'm not trying to show y'all a tutorial on how to do it. So please don't say sunset here taught y'all because I didn't. I barely teach it myself. I just thought it would be fun to try it because I thought that cover was so cute. 
and just wanted to show you guys how I did it. So like I said, just made a heart on my face and I'm just filling it in. But of course she's Rihanna and I know she has makeup artists obviously. And you know, more people who know about color concepts and stuff like that. I am not one of those people, which is why this is not a tutorial. But just want to show you guys my Riri uh, <laughs> inspired look. <laughs> hey guys, it's Sid here and this is my Riri inspired look in a better lighting. Like I said, I am not a makeup artist, so this is not a tutorial. I just want to show you guys what I did and how I did to achieve, you know, my Riri inspired look. So I just used my unicorn matchstick because I wanted to see exactly how it looked directly on my skin um, without lining it with anything. And then I saw the L cover with Rihanna she did the purple heart and I said, oh wait a second, I can do that too. Of course, I can't do it like her or you know, do it how they did it for her. But you know, it was worth a little fake try. This clearly was a fail, I know that. So don't get on here trying to clown me. <laughs> So I just took some bobby pins and rolled up my hair, kind of like how she had hers on the cover. And you know, I'm trying to stir her face like she did, so. Even though my heart is not as perfect as hers. Rihanna's freaking perfect, so no one's trying to be perfect. But I did just use my matchstick, just because I wanted to see exactly how it would look. Um, I have a very thin layer of foundation on the rest of my face, not where I have my heart drawn. So yeah, this was a total fail, <laughs> but I did have fun creating it, which is all that matters. So this is it. I have the rest of my hair just kind of pulled to the back so you guys can't see it. I do have my Riri inspired earrings, which I got from the beauty supply store. It came in a pack of like four or five other ones. I'm never going to wear them again, so they were probably like $3 for the entire pack. I think the funniest part about this entire thing is that I was talking so much stuff about these little cheapy little beauty supply store earrings and I actually like these earrings. The whole time I think that I may actually keep these. You never know when you may use them, okay? Also, um, I see girls that are around my age that wear their hair like this and they look cute. How come I look like a three-year-old? Just let me know that. How? How? I don't know. But like I was saying, um, I had to I had to wash the stuff off of my face now because it started to irritate me. I forgot that it was on and I went and rubbed my eye and all of a sudden my eye is burning and I'm running around the house like this. This is how my face was. Ah! And of course I'm like the only one here so I was walking around screaming, couldn't find a rag to wash my eye so I definitely had to wash it off but I had such a good time filming this I'm gonna recreate a few other looks and uh, I may try to do this one over and instead of it being a fail it would be a more of a um, a try and more of a, a positive you know because this definitely was a fail but like I said I had a lot of fun filming it it was fun I like purple now I have to find out where I even put my mask of course like I said earlier I would definitely use more of a white base um, probably use my milk of, milk of Magnesia as a primer whenever I do decide to wear it. I mean, I never would walk outside with a big old heart on my face, though it was cute. But we all know Rihanna sits there, she has makeup artists and people coming in to her every knee, doing her face. All she has to do is sit there. So this was just like my little first fake fun. Also, I have a extra uh, kilowatt trophy wipe highlighter that I will be giving away so stay tuned for the product details and the giveaway details as well because I will be posting and making a video about that really, really when I do decide to wear that matchstick just like on a regular day or a date night or outing I definitely will contour I will contour my cheeks my nose so I can look more slender and look more you know pretty and just cute so I definitely want to contour use my milk of magnesia as a primer and then I wouldn't want it as intense I kind of would just want like a little bit of a glow but it really depends if it's nighttime I'm definitely going all the way so like I was saying I hope you guys stay tuned for the giveaway of that kilowatts because I know it's sold out in a lot a lot of Sephora stores that's why I was shocked when I did go pick it up, well, when I did go to the Sephora and they had it in stock, 
that's why I ended up buying it but I also ordered it as well so that trophy wife is going to somebody out there so stay tuned for the giveaway like this video if you guys like it I just like to have fun guys y'all know I'm crazy I'm funny I crack my little self up I'm like a ball of sunshine <laughs> but yeah thank you guys so much for watching I am about to um take down my hair and actually you know bring myself back to life because these bobby pins were hurting my head <laughs> ah. bobby pins were hurting my head and I just felt like a toddler oh, my earring. oh heck you know I done snatched my dang on earring out what in the world oh. okay hold on Oh, okay. See, it's just not meant to be. It's just not meant to be. No, I'm more of an earring. Um, I'm more of a nice stud kind of girl because these things just, they're just not working. But if you're into these kind of earrings, they were at the beauty spot store, like I said, like $3. They had go to girl, get you some. So fix my hair. Okay, how's that? Am I back to normal, y'all? <laughs> All right, see you guys. Glad I went and washed my face. Have a fresh face now. And I'm ready for the world.